Terrorism mass communication is a broad field that has primarily been focused on social media. In my previous uh, responsibility as a special agent with the FBI, I used to run a group that did social media and open source investigations. What I kind of realized after I retired and started getting more into academia and the research is I realized that there were other forms of mass communication that were being neglected in the, in the research. So we started examining different things that began to look at things beyond social media. Ways that terrorist groups can communicate to groups either targeted or untargeted. The terrorist group Al-Qaeda uses Inspire magazine. That is a form of communication. They use that to push their agenda and ideology. So we're trying to take that information and analyze it to see what are the common themes within their communication within that medium. There's 16 different issues of Inspire magazine are there significant changes in the text? Is there something there that we can draw out of? Why, why did it change? We, we don't know yet. Nobody's ever really looked at that. I'm working with a student from the doctoral program who's also interested in, in terrorist communication and analyzing terrorist groups. And I brought her on as a research assistant to help me organize the data and develop a research agenda. We're attempting to show the the applicability of multidisciplinary approaches, technical tools, and to see where it leads us. There's a lot of other data sets that this could be applied to if it's effective. The Inspire Magazine data set is kind of known, it's accepted, Al Qaeda is an accepted terrorist group. There, there's not a lot of wishy-washy stuff there. If we can show the effectiveness of this research technique, there are other avenues that could benefit from using this type of analysis. For instance, using lone wolf terrorism manifestos, or even beyond terrorism, you could start looking at bank notes from, from bank robberies and things like that to see if there's themes that could be used. If I had a grand vision, I would love to see five years from now an institute of multidisciplinary approaches to terrorism where we would pull from other disciplines to try and solve some of these problems to understand, mitigate, and stop terrorist attacks.